to obey those words in. We meet again. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Just about anyway, isn't it? So, happy? Ha <clears throat> ah, yeah, yeah, as long as the team's happy. Uh, it was alright, wasn't he, out of 10? I thought he boxed very well, aye. Yeah, um, got a bit more with Chad than usual. Got it with Hattu, you know, he, he hit us with a couple of lefts in the first round. I thought kind of getting hit with them all the fights, so... Uh, just behind me jabbing and, and happy. You usually quite a harsh critic on yourself. You were last time when you were rating, but tonight you seem a bit more... Yeah, bit more I was upbeat, a bit, bit slow, more uh, slow and sluggish last time at the rating, to be fair, whereas this time I felt a bit more like, a bit more sharp with more as I thought. I would have probably been in a bit more trouble if I boxed the way I did last fight than what I'd like tonight than yeah. if I did. So, I'm glad I was a little bit more sharp on, uh, on the button and, and got a good win against a very, very good opponent. Box lovely, jab was going from the start. Heard Owen shouting, come on, keep it going, keep it going. You did, kept it long all night. Boxed his, boxed his head off for 10 rounds, really. Yeah, and it's a very good opponent to box his head exactly off. Right. Right. <coughs> WBC world champion, you know, he's, he's, he's ex world champion, he's, he's named Mo. Uh, so, if I can box people like that and show people a bit of boxing skills, then so poor old Steve, so poor old. <laughs> <laughs> Did he feel like he had him going at any point? Or? I thought I felt like uh, two, I had him with two left hooks to the body in yeah. certain rounds, and I felt, well, I knew he was away, he dipped in. Mm. I should have really thingy, but uh, I know he was waiting to, to thingy with that backhand, so I was uh, I was a bit dubious to that. But I was happy with just keeping him behind the jab. Really, that was that was the game plan, and uh, I just stuck with that. I think Steve mentioned it there in his interview that a bit more composed. You know, maybe three or four years ago you were uh, you were quite relaxed in there now. Oh no, yeah, yeah, definitely. I think that's. Uh, I mean, the work rate was good, the pace was good, like, just wasn't really out with first gear. And I think that's just to be nice and composed a bit more, yeah. trying to try and set it loading up and trying to, like, I wouldn't have passed and be blown up the arse in, in four or five rounds. So, <laughs> and I was like, I said, I've done 10 rounds, I was hardly really out of breath, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but I see a big and horror test to come and we'll see who they bring next. I know off camera, last time when I was up at the gym, you mentioned you had a few niggles and stuff and, you know, like arms, elbows and stuff, like nothing in there tonight, everything. All no, right? obviously, I've had tennis elbow in both my elbows and then obviously, I've had a bad hand, just. But while well, I get niggles, don't we? It's just part, part, part of the game. Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> right. I think it's benefited us a lot. I stopped, I stopped the weights very, very early in camp, which was, I think, benefited us loads. I was just dead, felt dead sharp, felt dead fast. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just happy with the performance. And uh, I see the gym's buzzing and, and uh, on to the next next thing. You mentioned the gym there. You had Big Mo on the card as well. Most big Mo, well. second round stopper, Jimmy, there he is. Big shout out. So he's uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's been, he's been, been trained like, we're both been like mad men in the gym, like I say, yeah. there's, usually, there's me, him, there's a few in the gym, even his brother Tommy's in, usually Terence Sim, but obviously he's had the little birth of uh, yeah. his little son Lenny, so he hasn't been in as much, but got a good little vibe in the gym, we're all bouncing off each other and uh, we're all competing against each other and it's, it's made a difference with all, I think. Do you think the back-to-back -back sort of camps helped you? I know you fought last in December, you had a little week off Christmas, but you were straight back in, weren't you? you didn't... No, definitely, if you look at that little run, I had a lightweight, yeah. it was when I was active. dead active, yeah. you know, yeah, like yeah. where... Do like I boxed Robbie Davis and I had a year like nearly a year and a bit off for the box fast guys and I had nearly a year off again where I boxed Ponce where it doesn't really suit me having that time I need to be in. You know, like, like keep off the takeaways. Keep off the takeaway. Yeah, I see I don't drink but I like a good takeaway, a good meal, <laughs> good cheap meal. Yeah, well, I keep your hands on it, yeah, you know what I mean? So <laughs> I uh, I like my glove, don't I? So but this time I have a few weeks off, come back to the gym a bit more sensible and uh and we'll just be grinding away. Just support a sandwich that you get into your dominoes, I think. Nice. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll bet you will, do you know what I mean? She'll be fast asleep when I get back, so... Uh, no, I don't think I'll one anyway, but... No, it's, uh, it's a good time for North East Boxing, you know, we can keep putting these big shows on, you know, it's full again the night, chucker. Uh, I think it's good with the, the Sky coming up with Boxer next week, so it means we've got to be competing against the likes of them and we'll come up and put, put them bigger and better shows on than them. 2022, uh, still the main man, still headlining the arena, it's your city. That's what it is, isn't it? It's, I mean, uh, for performances like that, can it be the same? We're knocking us off the off the third chat. I mean, apart from like the McCormack and Mark Dickinson, but they're like still starting off saying, yeah. I mean, there's no one else really there to knock us off, which is, you know, not being uh, like harsh for anyone, but there's no, not as anyone like. I've, I've proved myself time again, just look at my box record. Like ever since I won the British title, I just went up and up, up my opponent. And I'm fighting next world champion, so I've only been beat off the best, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I maybe passed it a little bit, but it's still a fucking job to do, you know, like, he's still life left in there, he's come to win, and, uh, and I've got the job done. Rebuilding nicely after the Pons fight, you know, and the two wins on the bounce now. And two good wins good. against two really tough opponents, you know, like, even the last one, you know, on the same with Progal and they said, oh, Two or three easy fights, and we get you all. But I'm, I'm still waiting for me easy fight off them. Do you know what I mean? So I've had two, two hard, hard fights straight away. But you know that's what happens in all gym. We get off our name. We say yes. We don't knock anyone back. Not even him. Very tricky southpaw. Trying to find anyone his height to come forward yeah. and, and swing and have a punch like he, he did. Kept, kind of, he kept coming, didn't he? I kind of find them anywhere. So 
who was the first support we got yesterday. We were not knocking any more back, so uh, and, and that's the way we don't know where we're going to do. What's next? Bit of family time, bit of rest. Yeah, bit of family time. I have a couple of weeks off of the two little things, so. I've uh, got me in six months, so I've been in the gym like the full time she's, since she's been born. Yeah. Like I say, with the camps and stuff, so I have a few weeks off of her, then she'll get sick of it, she'll want us back in the gym. Then we do have a daughter, she's four. <laughs> she'll get sick of it, she'll want us back in the gym. Then more will get sick of it, so they all want us back in the gym. So I have a few weeks, a uh, few weeks family time, then back in the gym. But that's all we know, that's all my life is, do you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, that's what you're it doing, has, isn't it? That's what I was, professional for a reason, you know, like. Absolutely. We don't blow up three and four stone out, out of camp, you know, we might put a stone out, we don't, we don't blow too big up. And uh, we're in there, we train hard every day, we get the weight off and uh, ready to rock and roll. Class, another big fight hopefully up here later in the year? Yeah, like I say, I want three fights this year, you know, middle, uh, in the back up the month, then maybe one at the end of the year, get another one in and get get that big, big one at the end of the year. But Pro Bellum, uh, Jaffa, Richie Schaefer and uh, <laughs> Sam Jones will come up with a plan. They'll tell us and then we'll agree and we'll go ahead with what they say. That's me, box very well. Lovely to see you. Thank you very much, and you too. Try and not bother you for a few weeks now. Hi, well. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you.